You're a guy who stopped an armed robbery uh, that was going down. Why don't you tell us, like, what happened? How'd you get yourself in this crazy situation, bro? Honestly, I was thirsty, and I just wanted something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and my tag partner, Jay, we left the wrestling show with another wrestler, and we're looking for a gas station to get something to drink, like some uh, iced tea. And so, when we get to the gas station, uh, I walk in, and there's a convenient clerk, and there's another girl. So, I'm by the coolers looking at the drinks, and a guy comes from the back, and he goes, yo, buy me a beer. I'll give you my man. That's kind of disrespectful. There's a better way to come at it. You come at me correct, I'll give you something to drink. I got no problems for you, man. He goes, what the say to me, huh? And I go, oh. I said, you come at me correct. He goes, he goes, yo, man, he goes up, he lifts his shirt up, and he puts, and he grabs a gun. And so he pulls the wow. gun out, and he's like, what you want to do, man? And, I, and my instinct is, you know, if I see danger, I don't try to get, I go away. I didn't want to get shot in the back, so I went towards him, and I was like, what the Honestly, the first thing I thought was, I don't want him to hurt anybody else. Wow. Like, my, my thought process wasn't of me being safe. My thought process was he has a gun and there's other people, and I don't want to hurt anybody else. And I'd rather, be, I'd, rather, I'd rather try to stop somebody and other people get away than get shot in the back for running like a coward. So what happens then when you're approaching the guy with the gun? What, what happens next? I mean, well, at first, he, I, was, I was like, he had the gun, and he, like, he's like trying to like flex, and I was like, what you want to do? And he goes, he goes, you need to get out of here, man. I'm about to rob this place. And I'll go, what the to me? I was like, no, nah, <laughs> that. He put the gun back in his waistband, and when he did, I started approaching him, and I, just, I rushed him, I just grabbed the gun, and I pulled it out. And when I pulled it out, I turned my back, and I'm cocking the gun, but nothing, a bullet's not flying out, because there's no bullet, and there's no clip. It's harmless. Wow. So I take the gun to the register, and I try to give it to the clerk. He puts his hands up. He doesn't want it. You know, the girl, she's panicking. He's coming behind me yelling and screaming. So I turn to him, and I'm like, yo, I'm like yelling at him. He's not listening. So then I grab him by the back of the neck, and I run his head into the store door. Wow. And then I run him outside, and I put him in a rear choke, and I throw him up in the air, and I get him down on, on the ground and I get his hand, his hands behind his back. And, like, I start searching him, see if he has any more weapons. And I'm on top of him, I got my knee in his back, and that's when I looked over at the gun, and I was squeezing it so tight because I didn't want to let go of it, right, that I realized I broke the handle of the gun. And so when I looked at it, I saw a silver case in it, and I was like, oh, it's an airsoft gun. Wow. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't realize until that moment, and by then my tag partner has already come out of the car with the other wrestler, and I'm like, call the cops. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1. If you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off the field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here, and check out more of our exclusive content right here.